with all the negative media out there, whether it be news, television, or really anything else in the world, what have you, it always seems like there's more bad or negative than good. More reasons to cry at, more reasons to be angry at, than the smile. And with a world like that we're living in, it's no wonder things aren't getting any better for people when it comes to being happy. So today, I wanted to talk to you about 10 reasons that you should smile right now. Number one, Benny's money. In Salem, Oregon, over the past six years, I believe, a mysterious philanthropist only known as Benny has been leaving $100 bills all around the city for anyone to find. He signs his 100 with the name Benny, ergo Benny. No one knows his real identity, but since it started, they've totaled it up to over $50,000 this guy's just given to people. Number two, the record for the person with most make -a the most wishes granted to the Make-A-Wish Foundation belongs to wrestler slash actor John Cena. Currently, C Mr. Cena, we'll try to sound professional here, holds the record at over 600 wishes granted. Below, I've linked a few different um, videos of him granting wishes or talking to Make-A-Wish kids, what have you. I think it's a really nice thing that a big time celebrity who does not have to do any of these things lightest to help people. He could have just be one of those people who'd done a few to keep up his image, but no. This man holds the record for over 600 wishes granted to kids through the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Now, in my research, some people have come close-ish, but not close close to that number, and that's a really great thing this man is doing. Number three is, well, as a kid growing up with autism, I never really could find any positive portrayals of autism or people with autism in the media. Not in the shows I watched as a little kid, and I still can't really find that much representation now. And it doesn't feel too great for a lot of people with autism, myself included, because we also need those positive kinds of role models in TV. So number three belongs to a Muppet. Julia from Sesame Street, to be exact. I used to watch Sesame Street as a kid. That was like my go-to. I was a big Elmo fan back in the day. Don't tell anyone. But Julia is Sesame Street's first character with autism, and I think they've nailed autism really well with her portrayal, and almost to a T. I am very proud of it. It's a very... Heartwarm, she's a very heartwarming character that I think is going to do a lot of good for kids. Number four is, let me get the it up here. Ah, here it go. I'm going to be reading off of a sign here, so let go. Well, paraphrasing. Employees at a Little Caesars hung up a sign after seeing a homeless dude digging through the dumpsters for something to eat. Because, let's face it, homelessness runs rampant everywhere. And I think they did a really nice thing here. It's unknown how it turned out, but I think it turned out well. The sign says, to the person going through our trash in for their next meal, you're a human being and worth more than a meal from a dumpster. Please come during operating hours for a couple of slices of hot pizza. Pizza. <laughs> and a cup of water at no charge. No questions asked. And unknown how this turned out, but that's a really heartwarming thing. Number five, oh God, I love this one. Across the street from the infamous hate group, Westboro Baptist Church sits the Equality House. A house painted with the colors of the rainbow with the message of love and not hate in order to counteract the infamous hateful messages from its uh, neighbors across the street. Also, next to the Equality House sits the Mott House, I believe it's called. A similar looking house painted pink, white, and blue in honor of the colors of the transgender flag. Also spreading the same love, not hate message. This one's just awesome to me. Now, number uh, six, sorry. The headline says, A man donated his kidney to save his best friend's life. 
And when you read that, you're like, oh, that's pretty heartwarming. I wanted to give special attention to the guy's name who donated the kidney. Khalid Mohammed is the man who donated the kidney, and a man named John Ralph, I hope I'm pronouncing that last name right, have been kid friends since they were kids. Eventually, when John felt pretty sick and needed a kidney transplant, which, let's face it, it's very hard to find a donor in this day and age, his best friend, Khalid, donated his kidney to his best friend, and I just find that completely heartwarming. Often, when you hear the name Khalid or Mohammed, especially in this harsh environment we live in, people automatically assume the worst, and a lot of people don't se seem to remember that people with names like that or Caucasian-sounding names were all human. And this is just a beautiful story that proves that. Number, what are we on, seven? I have notes on the screen here. A woman lost her house because she couldn't afford to pay the bill. She went right? to the auction to watch it be sold because I guess it was a very sentimental thing to her, which I could agree. I'm currently in my house right now, and I love this place. Someone in the crowd, I don't have too much info on this, but... Just listen to this sentence. It'll warm your heart. Someone in the crowd bought it back for her so she can have it. Now, that if that isn't heartwarming or a reason to smile, as the title of the video says, I don't know what is. Number eight, there's this image circulating around online. I can't put it on the screen because, one, I'm on my phone, and two, I'm still working on my editing skills a wee bit in case you guys haven't noticed. Now, we, a lot of us have heard about the tragic situation in Syria where a lot of people are refugeed due to some, we'll call, ugliness that happened. It's, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's a very bad situation for a lot of people. And there, a lot of them are currently fleeing to other countries to seek refugee status and try to rebuild their lives. The photo is of a Hungarian train station where there are just shoes scattered all over the ground from, the Hunga from many Hungarian people donating their shoes to the Syrian refugees. Regardless of how you feel about immigrants or refugees, you have to admit that's, that's a pretty good reason to smile, isn't it? Number nine, when you think of the words superhero, the name Spider-Man probably isn't far behind from mention or thought. Well, current Marvel Studios actor Tom Holland, aka Spider-Man, seems to be a bit of a real-life superhero. He, along with some of his co-stars from the current Far From Home uh, movie and the previous Homecoming movie, have been f filmed visiting Children's Hospital and visiting sick kids, in however many different wards it were. I linked the videos down below, and I really think you guys should check it out because it's just mm, very heartwarming stuff. And number 10, my personal favorite, number 10 out of the 10 reasons why you should smile is you. Because you belong here, you're a gift to the world, and the world is a much better place because you're here. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope I was able to make you guys smile. Have a nice day, everyone. Love you. From The Green Autism.